day out there today guys i got something very exciting to unveil here and show y'all so let me explain so what we got here is the new prototype from m2c racing for the traxxas sledge and turning the sledge into an xl we all know how much we love and many of you guys out there have the arma crate and xl version and uh m2c racing decided to make an xl version for the traxxas sledge and guys i am super excited to get this thing fitted up but let's go over a couple of the parts real quick First thing we're going to take a look at here is this beautiful chassis. And with this new chassis design, guys, with the XL, obviously you can do your forward or reverse uh, motor mounts design. And now with your forward motor mount, you can also fit a lot bigger cans in here. So you got a lot more options for bigger motors, bigger ESCs. It's just going to be awesome. All new set of front and rear shock towers. And guys, these parts just look beautiful in there. Also, we have a brand new, all new designed top chassis brace going across the top here. We all know how much the stock one in there um, did not hold up very well. The tabs always ripped out of the bottom. So we got some more beef here to hold onto this thing so it doesn't break out with also with a heavier design. And these ones also have Delron inserts in them, which should really be nice. This is a prototype, guys. So anything could always change in the final product, but this is the initial design. And we're going to see how she holds up and how she works out. With the kit also will be a longer... I'm guessing rear drive shaft for this, um, obviously, because she's getting stretched out a bit. And guys, this is like, super excited about these because we all know how much we love the long body posts, especially on any of the Armas or especially the XLs, where they all start bowing really badly. So M2C Racing has designed an all new body post design um, that'll bolt up straight to your tower. So no more snapping off body posts and having all those warping issues. Super excited to try these things out. There's a set for the front and the rear on here. Uh, so we'll be getting those bolted up and also the tower to tower braces. Uh, they'll be mounted up to uh, the front and rear for the new top chassis brace. But uh, guys, only thing that's left now, start tearing the sledge apart here and getting your parts transferred over. I'm not going to go with every little bit and piece along the way. Um, I'll just kind of bring you guys in here and there as we're making some progress. But can't wait to get this thing switched over. So stay tuned, everybody. Well, the only thing left is to start tearing this thing apart. And you guys may have seen me post this picture up um, a couple weeks ago. And this was what it was all about, guys. And with this kit, obviously, with the new shock towers here, um, the old ones are going to go away. The whole body mount design is going to go away. It's going to go with the standard four-post design on this car now. Um, also, you can run a standard Traxxas. I'm sorry, a standard Arma. Um, battery box and receiver tray in here or you can run the stock tracks whichever one you prefer i am going to go with armor because i like the good old velcro i feel like it's a little more sturdy i've had batteries blow out the side of this thing so i'm turning this thing into as much of an arma as i can <laughs> figured i'd quickly bring you guys back where i'm at in the teardown process we got all the battery box servo esc um, and all that stuff out of here Got the front end almost completely loosened up. There's like one screw holding that in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swap over the shock towers in the front. I'm going to get the front mounted up to the new chassis here first and then work on the back and then work in the middle electronics and all that good stuff. And by the way, the longer drive shaft, I believe, is actually for the front. I misspoke it at the beginning. I'm assuming since the front's getting stretched, the longer drive shaft's going to go in the front, obviously. But figured I'd mention that. All right, so I figured I'd show you guys. I got the front end pretty much completely set up and uh, bolted down. Got the shocks, um, shock tower. We got the new body posts. And guys, check these things out. These body posts just look amazing. Um, they got a nut that fits on the inside slot here. And then two bolts to come through the front. Um, the towers have multiple holes in them. So you can kind of adjust it up and down depending on your body. And everything fit up beautiful, guys. I'm using these body posts because from judging with my body so far, um, they look like they're going to be high enough, but I might have to tweak it um, at the end and raise them up a little bit or use something higher. But right now they look pretty good. But I'm going to carry on and start working on the center drivetrain in the rear end. And once I get that stuff done, I'll bring you guys back. Process, we got the back end all mounted up on here. Got the new shock tower mounted up on it. And uh, front and back are ready to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and work on getting my center motor diff and all that stuff out of the old chassis and that will be everything free from the old chassis at that point and i can start getting everything mounted over get the new drive shafts in 
And also I gotta get mounted up next, the new tower to tower brace. So I'm gonna go and get that mounted up. And when I get that installed, I'll bring you guys back once the brace is uh, you know, kind of mocked in there. All right, so quickly got the front and rear post mounted up on here for the center brace. I probably put mine on backwards. I probably should have put the screw heads on this side, but eh, I did it this way for now. I'm not switching it around. But the center brace mounts in here beautifully just like that. So like I said, it's got the Delron um, inserts in there. So guys, fitting up beautiful. Everything is looking great so far. All right, well, we got the wing mounted up now. Now I did do this slightly different. I don't know if the final product will be different or not, because like I said, guys, this is the prototype. But um, the two top screws mount up the same way as the old one for your wing. But down below, these two braces that normally came down here are not being used on this one currently. Um, so what I did was I took two shorter screws and nut and bolted the bottom part of the wing in, which honestly holds better than going into that plastic anyway. But on the final product, I don't know. That might be changed. This could all be different. Um, but this is what I'm working with now. Holy cow, guys. Look at this. Now, this is the motor I was running in it stock. Um, this is my Tekken motor I just put in here. But look at all that room you got now. Um, yeah, you can pretty much put whatever you want or whatever your heart's desire in here. Wow. All righty. Well, we got the uh, rear body post mounts mounted in here. We got the center diff and motor in here. Um, got the drive shafts hooked up. I'm right now working on the ESC plate. This is one thing. Um, it's all depending on if you're doing the reverse or the forward mount uh, motor mount. So I got to kind of alter my ESC, but talking with Avery and Mitchell um, on some little changes, I guess, uh, that might be made, depending on which way you're going to mount this thing. But I'm going to alter my motor mount a little bit to make it work at the forward facing and go ahead and get the ESC mounted up. But I know I got to get the front skirts mounted up here. I'm only going to run them about part way back. Um, I got to get those mounted up before I get the battery box and stuff like that mounted in here. Also, I got the new servo mount here. I got to get that installed. And what else do we got? The battery box, which I got to get in there. And I got to relocate the uh, servo because obviously we're not using this battery box anymore. I'm going to go with the Arma and everything's going to be contained in one. So got a little bit of messing around here to do and I'll show you guys how it works out and how I do it. All right, boys and girls, well, I'm calling it a night here on day one. Got a lot accomplished on this thing. We've got the servo mounted up in here. Nice short run to the receiver box. As you guys can see, I got the Arma battery box in here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that ran in there. Um, right now, the only thing I'm dealing with is trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with an ESC plate. I was speaking with Avery and Mitchell. Um, there's actually a different ESC plate that's supposed to be on here, so they're going to send me that. Um, I might temporarily mod this one just to kind of get stuff fitted up in here, but she's getting really close. All we got left is ESC um, and hook up a few cables and get some tires under this thing, and she's ready to roll. Really pumped about taking this thing out for his first rip, guys. All right, everybody. Well, it is day two, and as you can see, we got a body fitted up here. Um, before I was finished up last night, I started tinkering with the body, and I got this, this is a temporary body on here. Um, actually, Basher Bodies is going to be making a custom body for this and a couple other cars, from what I'm told now. So these are just kind of some test bodies, but they are going to actually make a body that properly um, fits this car in every way. So I'm definitely excited to see what they put together for this thing. But we do a body on here. She's fitted up. Everything everything uh, clears, and it'll work out. But all that's left now is getting my ESC mounted in here, and i got to modify this ESC plate here to work in here for now until I get the actual uh, ESC plate. But I think I can do a little modifications on this one and make it work in here. I'm going to get that in there, and then we can go ahead and get the receiver and get the wires ran, and she's almost ready for its first test roll, guys. It's getting close. It's getting really close. The only other thing I'm noticing right now that might need to happen with this car um, is it might need a little bit heavier front springs. I'm going to take her with some different springs on here, um, but we're going to see once we take it up for bash and see how she works out. The back looks good. The back feels good, um, but the front might need a little bit heavier springs on here, but like I said, not 100% sure. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and work on the ESC plate. I'll show you guys what I put together for that and getting it mounted up, but... We're almost there. All right, guys. Well, I figured I'd bring you back here and show you where I'm at at this point. Um, we got the ESC mounted up in here. Uh, we got, obviously, the motor, uh, battery box. Everything's all in here. Um, the only thing I've been 
trying to figure out right now is, and this all depends on whether or not you run the forward facing motor or the rear facing motor is depending on which way this is going to set up. If I was running the rear facing motor and the ESC was up here, obviously it'd be a quick, easy, short run right to the receiver box. However, because I'm running mine still in the stock Traxxas forward facing form, I had to get creative here with my wiring and I might do something later. And again, this is the prototype, but I covered my ESC wire with this uh, industrial protection sheathing stuff. It basically brought it along here, took it under the motor and there's a big gap under there. So I'm not concerned about um, the motor catching the wire and then brought it across and then right there into the receiver box. Um, it works. I'll see how it works. I might come up with something different, but for now, um, this is how I'm going to set it up. And we are going to change it to motor, but on the first run here too, I am going to run this just the Tekken motor in here and see what it's like on this platform. And then we'll go to that bigger castle motor. Um, as far as my uh, on-off button, I'm probably going to Velcro mount it right to the center brace across the top. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's almost ready to fire up. All right, everybody. She is ready to fire up, I think. Uh, we got everything mounted up in here, everything bolted down. Um, this was my spot right now, kind of temporarily for my power button. I mean, it works up here. It's got nice little room to move around. Might relocate it depending on the new ESC mount and all that stuff. That might change. But kind of a little rough draft here of how this is going to lay out. And uh, <laughs> all I think we can do now is fire it up. Create the controller on. Hit the power button. See what we got. Well, the ESC fired up. That's promising. We got steering. We got throttle and brake. Throw the body on this thing and uh, take it for a rip outside for a sec. All right, boys and girls. Well, the Sledge XL Maiden Voyage. <laughs> this motor, I'm surprised. It's this motor. And I know it's a smaller side for this car, but it's still, it has got some snap to it. Man, she feels very slanted. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, that motor's got plenty of power for this thing. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm going to change it around here at some point just to experiment, but. Oh, well, there goes the new body. Well, got a few little tweaks to do it. <laughs> Guys, it's a reality. The Sledge XL is a thing now. You know, everybody with the Arma has uh, got to enjoy the, the Creighton XLs for a long time. And uh, now, you know, if you got a Sledge and you want to change up the platform and have something different and get into the XL, but you're, you know, maybe you're a diehard Draxxas fan and you'd like to do it, this is a... Uh... <laughs> Man, this thing feels so stupid. I cannot wait to air this thing out, guys. Definitely, I think, going to be fun. All right, let's take her back inside. And now, now I want to go on the motocross track and just send this thing. All right, everybody. Well, the jackhammer is fully together and ready to rock and roll here. I got a few other little changes I still got to make to it. Um, I got a couple little parts coming for it. Um, I also have a new wing coming for it because this is the old original black one that has just beat the snot. Um, I have a brand new black one coming. kind of goes better with the green body versus the orange one. Just <laughs> look terrible. But like I said, this body might be kind of temporary. Um, some of the other testers here with M2C are trying out some different bodies also. And uh, we're going to kind of see which one fits up the best. But inevitably, the best news is uh, Basher Bodies is actually putting together a proper body for this car. Um, they're going to be, I'm assuming, an indestructible body, which is going to be awesome. And from what I've heard, they're also putting one together for the Italian XL and for the Creighton XL, which is just awesome. So all these XL builds will have a good body finally for them. Anyway, guys, I won't keep you much longer. The next time you guys see this car, we will be airing this thing out down at the motocross track or maybe the skate park. We'll see what happens. But she's up, ready to roll, and uh, it's a thing. The uh, Traxxas Sledge is now an XL known as the Jackhammer, guys. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Can't wait to go out and have some fun with this thing here in the future. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. But that's going to do it. So until next time, y'all be safe. Be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.